This is Robot Creator DX. This is Vector 1.0 because the second version is going to come out soon. And I just I'm thought it would be have fun. I'm a big fan of the robots that are used in science and engineering. And that's exactly the problem with ongoing conversation with AI. Welcome to LJP Tech Channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you press the bell button as well. Now, I present to your host, LJP Tech. So, Robot Creator DX was recently released on Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign, and it actually has 20 days to go for crowdfunding, while as we had Vector 1.0 for more than two or three years now. So, I thought it would be quite fun to compare these two. So, to start with, Robot Creator DX comes with a size of 12.5 inch of height and 12.1 inch of width width and 6.5 inch of depth so that is actually 32 centimeters by 31 centimeters by 16.5 centimeters of a size while as vector is 2.7 inch of a height 2.4 inch of a width and 3.9 inch of depth so that's 7 centimeters by 6 centimeters by 9.9 .9 centimeters of depth so you can see that robot creator dx is almost like four or five times taller than a vector and um, almost six times wider than Vector and um, almost actually uh, twice uh, deeper than Vector. So the reason I'm mentioning about sizes of each unit is that Robot Creator DX comes with the price of 649 uh, US dollars that is available on the early bird stage at Kickstarter while as Vector, you can actually buy a Vector 1.0 um, on Amazon for a very expensive price. This is actually 319.95 British pounds on Amazon, while as you have to pay between 399 to 454 ish uh, us dollars on official ddl for version 2.0 so if you compare the size with the price that is available on the market mathematically robot creator dx is a big win in this case now some people actually commented on my previous video related to robot creator dx that even though you pay for that price uh, you still have to pay for the import tax, which could vary up to uh, 150 US dollars. Who knows? I haven't actually paid for mine when I received this unit, but um, there's something that you need to actually carefully consider that in that case. But I do remember paying for the import tax on Vector as well before I received it because this came actually abroad. So they're both, but it's just the size comparison of the box that you're receiving. I guess Robo Creator DX, you're very likely to pay more for the import tax. So to go through the overall look, Robo Creator DX actually comes with a rather big screen, a touch screen actually, so you could actually touch and then go through functions and you could actually see the camera on top. Now I compared the size of the actual lens against a Vector 1.0. Uh, the actual lens seems to be almost the same but somehow if you actually look comparing to the app of how the camera angles is shown it seems that robot creator dx is far more superior to it but um, this actually comes with a pir sensor which is this one and also individual arms so you could get more like a, a human-like expression um, from robot creator dx now this also comes with a wheel um, and so it could easily move around, but I wouldn't actually advise you to place it on a table because if it falls down, it's likely to break. But then again, it comes with more than 100 pieces that you could have fun assembling. And I know some people have actually complained about this, that they don't want to assemble it. But I actually thought that too. I was a bit shocked when I saw all the separate units. But when, once you build it, go through the website, it's brilliant fun. So I'll definitely recommend it. Well, as Vector, again, we all know about Vector. It actually has the attached arms that looks like a crane. It has the tank-like wheels and also um, like a tiny uh, face that is cute. Um, but actually, I could also consider Robo Creator DX quite cute as well. Front camera as well. Now, this actually has a stroke on the top only sensor, but Robo Creator DX, it has the um, stroke on the top, touch sensoring, and on both of the hands as well. 
and also the belly as well. So there are more touch sensing features on Robot Creator DX. So on the software side, regards to Robot Creator DX, you can actually check out my previous video uh, regards to what it can actually do. But to sum it up, um, you can actually talk uh, constantly with Robot Creator DX. You don't need to call uh, Robot Creator DX or Kebby uh, to have conversation. Uh, this will listen to you and then respond with a cloud-based AI um, system. I'm not feeling well. I don't know. I don't think my wife likes me anymore. I'm so sorry. I know how you feel. My husband and I have been together for 15 years and I still don't feel the same way. Oh, so you're married and for 15 years, okay. Are you a male or female? Right, so you've been married to your wife or husband. Actually, so you've been married to your husband for 15 years and you're a male. That's a good question. I guess I just like the idea of being married. Okay. That's very interesting. So I don't know what this AI system is based on, but it's pretty good, but sometimes it doesn't actually link up um, because it's saying that sometimes it's a female, sometimes it's a male, it likes to play. Uh, computer games and so on and this is something that started to get a bit annoying because it constantly responds to you so in the end you have to just press the home button like that so you could actually quiet it off a bit but if you want to have an ongoing conversation with uh, an individual like this robot just do that and at the same time, we got Vector trying to budge in as well. And also it could dance for you. It has series of dancing that, and also you can actually add a bit more from the app store. Uh, you could actually do storytelling and also exercise and etc. cetera. Uh, while as Vector, we all know um, all the software is from the, mainly uh, from your mobile phone app, which is very limited. You can only um, change your, um, the eye colors and, and so on and um, maybe some other things but you can actually download the external app that I actually used on my previous video to make it look more like a robot um, remote control kind of feel uh, which is also something that you have to pay a small amount of fee but that's also fun as well now regards to the AI functioning um, facial recognitioning both actually has that feature I actually do find that robot creator DX seems to be more far more superior on this and uh, when it comes to facial recognition extended to the uh, communication level uh, robot creator is fantastic where you can actually have phone call video conference call um, for example if i had a mobile phone downloaded with the robot creator dx software um, while i'm actually out about about um, from the other side of the world i can still as long as i have the data connected i could have a conference call uh, from the other counterpart of a person who actually holds the robot creator dx so that's amazing uh, while as automatically within this software you can do the remote control move around as if you're you use this character as avatar which is fantastic so let's try out some ai based um information shall we so hey kebby who is the president of united states of america joseph robinette biden jr is an american politician who is the 46th and current president of the united states okay let's try something more trickier what is donald trump's net worth three billion usd Okay, 3 billion USD. So please do check it out if that's the latest. So uh, what are the recent events that you could actually check out? Let's say, um, what's today's weather like? Today's weather. Okay, so I think the reason it actually became blue light is that you need to actually look at the camera so they recognize you. Okay, so um, what's the weather like? The weather in recent days is clouds and the temperature is 65.6 degrees Fahrenheit to 74.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's cool. So um, it could actually, um, so you can actually have constant conversation with uh, Robot Creator DX. So you could actually place this uh, Robot Creator DX next to you while you're working. And if you want to have a quick calculation, 
let's say if you want to do a bit of a mathematics um, adding, what is 3.14 divided by 2.6? Is 1.20769230769230766. Wow, so you could actually do a quick ma mathematical calculation as well. So you feel like you're dialoguing with someone who's actually looking after you, which is really good. While as Victor, we all know that, hey Victor, what is 3.14 divided by 2.6? Myth number two, to be good at math, you have to be good at calculating. Okay, so it actually starts with a certain digit, it could go on. So Vector does that as well, um, but um, we could try something else as well, shall we? So, hey Vector, who is the President of the United States? So there are the identical answers here. So I think Vector has its own sort of um, cloud-based information that you could actually uh, use while as KB has its own as well. But we all know that this is very notorious. A lot of people come to my channel complaining about Vector, you need to pay the subscription fee. To be honest with you, I, actually, I was the early adapter to this, so I don't know how much you need to pay monthly, uh, but a lot of kids are moaning about this. So I feel really sorry for them, but unfortunately, yes, you have to pay for the subscription fee if it doesn't work. Uh, while as Vector, you have seen, you have to call Vector every single time to interact with Vector saying, hey Vector, or you could try Alexa. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. So you could actually use two of the functions uh, while as Robo Creator DX is focused on one um, AI cloud information database. Now, in regards to automating charging um, system, uh, Vector is very well known to following the house logo uh, onto the charging dock and it actually cutely actually backwards and then charge itself and settles down. Uh, while as Robot Creator DX, it only has the USB-C charger on the back, so you have to manually plug in the USB-C cable and let it charge. Now the battery life of Robo Creator DX is pretty good. I've actually been playing around with this for um, almost more than an hour actually. It started with 100% but now it's actually 74% of battery. So that's pretty good. Um, while as a Vector we all know that once it's fully charged it'll probably move around for about I would say 30 or 40 minutes maybe, and then uh, it comes back, charge itself for about 15 minutes to be able to do that again. So Robot Creator DX is marketing itself to be very customizable, i.e. you can actually paint the body um, and then you can actually like change the facial expression through the app and, and so on. While as I actually like this to be transparent itself, um, but you will notice a lot of um, if you go to the Facebook community and see all these photos, a lot of people actually customized uh, Vector with all these cool looking paint effects um, and so on. So regards to customizable uh, function, you could do both to be honest with you. But again, uh, Robot Creator DX, it has the outer skin compartments that you can take it out and then spray it while it's Vector. I guess it's not designed to be taken off initially, so you have to be very careful and crafty to be able to take it apart and paint it and so on. Well, regards to the annoyance side of it, I have to say, I do find Vector's chirping sound really annoying. Let's say if I were to have Vector next to me and doing my regular work, this, um, this chirping sound is started to really annoy me after a few moments. So I tend to just put the volume down to minimum as possible, but still the moving sound is happening. While as Robot Creator DX is quite stable once you actually set it up, but if you actually turn on the AI function and automated um, conversation mode, it could be very annoying indeed because if you actually accidentally turn that on, it will just keep laughing on and on and on and on. So there are both pros and cons on that and it depends on what sort of preference you have. What I would much prefer to have a Robot Creator DX sort of function because every single time when you want to have a conversation with Vector, you have to call Vector for every sentence. While as if you want to have a proper conversation with Robot Creator DX, you don't need to worry about that. Now, actually to the software development side, um, Robot Creator DX actually has a software system called uh, Rollflow Free and Rollflow Plus. So the Rollflow Free is basically what you saw 
you can actually have the basic AI triggers and language q and interaction. But if you want to go to the screen menu interaction, import your own face and advanced AI, I mean, do check it out on the Kickstarter campaign page. Um, you need to pay a bit more extra for the subscription fee, while as a Vector, uh, you have to basically pay for the basic subscription fee if you haven't. But if you want to use the development side of coding and so on, I believe you have to get this um, escape pod with another separate Raspberry Pi and so on. So that sounds rather complicated to, for me, but then again, that's another option if you're into coding and robotics and etc. Just recognize you, so the this, okay. So that's a bit of a hello, but Let's see if we're trying to make it dance. Maybe that's too loud. Okay, so it's listening to the beats now. So that's how you make vector dance. While on the flip side, if I say, dance with me. So if you press any of these tracks, then it will automatically go through all the dance routines. So that's how you make a robot creator dance. That is quite cool. So what is Vector doing while Robot Creator DX is dancing? Just enjoying the show. So I hope this introductory, almost like a part one comparison between uh, Robot Creator DX and Vector to be useful. I mean, if you look at the money side, because that's one of the most important thing, um, at, at the actual robot itself, uh, Robot Creator DX is technically twice more expensive than uh, Vector. Now I've seen um, some posts on the Facebook group page for uh, Vector. A lot of people actually, a good number of people actually bought tens and twenties of Vectors. And uh, my input on that would be why not um, buy, rather than buying two of the Vector robot, instead get a Robot Creator DX because it's a very good value robot that could do so many different functions. Um, and I actually am quite jealous about those people who actually could get 20 to 30 vectors and so on. And it's amazing how people are into these sort of things and so on. But um, I have to say money-wise and also fun-wise and function-wise, Robo Creator DX is far more superior, definitely. And um, I just wanted to sort of introduce that side of robotics, how far we came on, how affordable uh, robotics have become and so on. So I just thought that this video will be very useful for you to understand what's going on in uh, the robotic smart home tech and so on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any queries about any of the related to these two robots here, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.